Ladies and gentlemen, back when wrestlers were called athletes, not entertainers, my next guest was one of the few Olympians who joined the dark side to become a professional. These days, he's starring in a documentary, Wrestling with the Past, which airs Wednesday, May 19th at 9 p.m. on the Comedy Network. Please welcome, and here he is, Mad Dog Vachon. Yeah. I don't know, uh... I don't know, uh... I'm not really sure how to address you. Is it Mad, Mad Dog? Uh... Mr. Mad Dog for you. Okay. All right. All right. Now, uh, Mr. Mad Dog. And, and, and whatever you do, don't call me Mad Dog backward. Okay. Skip that. Not fit for television, my friend. God, Nam? <laughs> <laughs> You're, you were from Quebec. You're from Quebec, and you've lived in Quebec all your life. Now, did, you traveled the whole country when you wrestled. Did politics ever become an issue with you? Well, you know, uh, now that Jesse the Bunny has become the governor of Minnesota, and they have T-shirts, our governor can beat up your governor. I was there just a couple of days ago, and I went on TV, and I, I had a shirt on it that said, I beat up your governor. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, and if you don't believe me, if you don't believe me, ask him. All right. Now, uh, wrestling is uh, very popular now. It was always popular, but it seems there's a lot more money being made and going to the wrestlers now than went to them before. You were professional athletes. Are you bitter at all over missing out on some of those big paydays? Yes, I'm very jealous. Mm -hmm. No, actually, it's fantastic, you know, but some of the... So the stuff I see on TV right now, I, I'm not crazy about, you know, because they, they go overboard. There's a sex involved in there now. And too many kids are watching that. A lot of stuff I don't like to see on TV. Yes. But I'm not jealous of the money they make uh. because it, it's incredible. And like uh, they went to uh, Tokyo, they had 65,000 people. They sold one night $1 million worth of T-shirts. Are you serious? Um, absolutely. One million dollars worth of t-shirts yes. in Japan? In, in Tokyo in one night. In Tokyo? In one night. Oh my gosh. When Andre the Giant wrestled against Hulk Hogan outside Detroit WrestleMania, they grossed $275 million. Wow. The seventh most watched show on cable TV is wrestling. Mm -hmm. But what people don't know, and they face to realize, years ago, wrestling made TV. They had nothing to show up along Cassidy, the Three Stooges. That's right. And they put, uh, right. they said, what could we put in a studio that would excite the people? They said, pro wrestling. Mm -hmm. So they put a ring in, on the TV, and the people start watching that on the sidewalk. That's because right. of, Remember that? That's right, and that's how Walter Cronkite started. It, <laughs> that's right. And you know, he used to be a, 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 a sports announcer, and uh, he used to announce wrestling. Ronald Reagan, the pres Reagan, the president of the United wow. States, used to be a, a wrestling announcer. I had no anyway, idea, really. The, that's right. That's exactly true. And then the people, when they saw, they start buying these TV sets to watch wrestling. And when they saw a wrestler in person, they said, "My wife and I, my husband and I, we bought a wrestling set." They call it a wrestling set, and yeah. that's that's how we came about. Amazing. Now yeah. it's getting bigger and bigger than ever. Mm -hmm. I'm making a comeback, by the way. <laughs> And you know what? I don't know how it was in the past. Because I you don't forget to watch my show that's coming out real soon. Wrestling with the past. Some people have a past that they have to wrestle with me, be you're one of them. But I remember one thing. I have one thing to tell you, my friend. It's a dog eat dog world. <laughs> All right. All right. Watch him on Sunday night, ladies and gentlemen.